My name is Static Danny. Hey, I'm Static Danny, and I have the best looking BMW in the universe. You know what? As a matter of fact, I'll buy you a hat. If you wear it. This, like this. Yeah. See, no. Static hat. Are you down? But. Not a normal static hat. I'll give you an extra $5 to make it, like, actually good. Like this. I don't like the dad hats. You know what I'm talking about? Dads you don't like you. Cause I'm not dad. No, fuck G doors, bro. Heavy ass G doors. That shit hurt. We gotta do door delete still. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Static Works. Today, we're gonna be installing something that every fucking G needs. And honestly, it should have came from the factory because 350Zs came with an oil pressure gauge. Obviously, they had the three gauge pod on the dash, and G's unfortunately didn't come with it. I know it's because they're luxurious, things like that, but it does have an oil pressure sensor, obviously, so it should have at least a gauge to monitor it or even implement it into the cluster itself, but they didn't. And unfortunately, the motor that this G had before, which is why it hasn't been in the videos lately, did have low oil pressure. We were actually um, doing a video on it, and the oil pressure light came on. So we went to actually check it because I know the sensors can be faulty and it was reading 4 PSI with our gauge and that is not good. So we replaced the motor, burning oil like a motherfucker, VQs, I know. This is the gauge we got. From AEM, because uh, it's just the way I roll. Oil Honestly, pressure really gauge. Nice. These are the, the best gauges out are there. Are they really? Sponsor us. Are they really? But they sponsor us. We have this connector. I'm able to change the face if I want to go silver. And then <clears> this <throat> is the most important part because this looks just like the oil pressure sensor and you can see, open it up, my slave. He's my bitch. This little guy right here, that's where the oil feeds into and that's pretty much what sends signal to the computer and tells it how much pressure is in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be replacing the old one, putting this one in, and honestly, just be something as simple as plugging this in and then that into the, the actual gauge and then these to power. So it should be good. And the good thing about this gauge is that you're able to change faces. So you go white with silver, white with black. Honestly, black with keep black. it black. Or, I'm gonna keep it black. Especially with the color you're going yeah. for. The, black on black? You're going with pink, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Going anyways. With pink. Another thing that Martin did buy was this cluster pod, which is gonna look really nice with the black interior and actually you're gonna gut it huh so I eventually mean. but since i'm just trying to fix the car and make it so i know like uh the oil pressure and stuff i just wanted to hold it for now temporarily until i could get a custom one this was the cheapest route for now it's not the best fitment but we can get it to work we're just gonna mess with it but honestly it doesn't look as bad as i expected it's kind of a little ricey but i mean it's fine, it's, temp it's, it's temporary. Fine. You're gonna gap fools. I was looking at different pods, ones that replaced this whole center console and we're right here, but honestly it was like $400 and I don't think it's worth it unless you really wanna go all out on the interior, but this car isn't necessarily for looks. He's obviously planning on making it fast and that's his main goal. So to be able to read your air fuel ratio, your oil pressure, that's really good stuff because this car is staying NA for a while. And since we are going E85 on this thing, which we're gonna be doing a video on installing the fuel pump and GTR injector, so that's gonna be a dope ass vid. But this is a good start to get everything ready for the interior so we can start gutting it. Cause are you gonna get door cards? Probably. So I'm thinking that Martian should, Martian? I'll fight you right I'm thinking that Martian should get a door, aluminum door cards cause that'd look dope. And then he could obviously design it the way he wants, but it would be sick for this car because we need light. Cars, Martin. No, they go lighter. You know that. Well, you know that the the, um, the later the years of the G's, the heavier they got. It's so embarrassing. Oh! Ah! Stupid. Ah. For this installation process, we do recommend that you take off your oil filter, and that's going to obviously drain oil. It's better to just do a complete oil change if you haven't already. I'll show you guys in a little bit, but pretty much the oil pressure sensor is right above the oil filter and you can't even see it with the camera. So it's gonna be a lot easier for us to show you guys and demonstrate how to remove it. 
and just give you guys an idea of how it is because we don't want to just go through the hassle of removing it and waste our time and not show you guys the actual process. So pretty much all we have to do is remove the oil filter and obviously not that hard. So you should be able to remove it by hand, which I'm doing right now. Just make sure you have the catcher really close by because you don't want it splashing everywhere. I'm probably going to use an extender, which should be right here. You can buy one of these tools at AutoZone, which is what we did. And it's really neat because you can raise it up just so the oil can drain out there and not splash everywhere, especially since it is really windy right now. Let me see if I can break it loose. It is pretty difficult doing it with one hand, but it should come off. Just let it drain a little bit. Little, little lube tech skills that I got at work. And then just take it off. It's gonna spill because there is oil in the filter like that and then you could just either leave it there or I just like to set it right here. The red and black ones are to power and ground for the gauge and this, I believe the blue one or the white one is a five volt reference. I forgot which one it is, but those two wires is I believe what goes to the actual ECM and it sends the information back and forth but I am not entirely sure. I know on the instructions, it doesn't really say anything about it. It just shows the actual wiring diagram and it shows that it's a five volt reference. So what I think is it's one of those wires that's connected to the actual pressure sensor. I did use some curved needle nose pliers to get the actual connector off of the sensor. So I'd recommend getting some needle nose pliers. These curved ones worked really well. And now I just have to remove the actual sensor that's hidden up there and hopefully it's not too much of a pain in the ass. To make it easier, I'm going to be removing this bracket that goes to the alternator and that actually screws into the block and those are going to be a little 12 millimeters and you should be able to get them fairly easy and hopefully it'll give me some leeway to try to get in there to get the sensor. To remove the OEM sensor, I am using a 1 1 16th which is really big and I don't believe you need to use that size but that was just enough to break it loose. What's up Travis? I got a chair just for you. Hopefully it's not too too bad of a sight to see but there you go it's off it's just gonna be draining and let me show you how it looks out here and it pretty much looks just just like this just like the new one but the new one is actually a smaller size so you're gonna be able to remove the new one which just a uh, 5 16 and let me see if I can find it just to show you guys the difference. Now is a good time to just check the threading, make sure both of them are the same. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> so what happened today, bro? Oh, I got a parking ticket as well. You got a parking ticket? Yes, sir. Bro, people fucking hate you today. I know, I know. Honestly, it you're the nicest guy in static. It is what it is, oh well. Oh well. <laughs> God yeah. damn it, yeah, that bro. Was that one, no, that, that all, all of the fucking one. sensors are done. It does look roughly the same size, so when I was threading it in, it did get hard and Chavez thought of an amazing idea to finally use our tap and die set. So the actual threading of this connector is a 1 8th. Obviously, I don't recommend getting this connector and doing all of this work, you don't need to. So make sure when you do order an oil pressure sensor for this car, order the one with the 1 8th threading. I got it from Z1, just know about that. Or even email them so they can give you a correct link. So I, I am going to email them to let them know that it was the wrong threading, but we read And I'll, I'll leave it on the comment section below to make sure. Um, but yeah, finally we have it to the same size. And if you ever tap and dye anything, make sure to clean the threads because they are going to be dirty and filled with metal. See the shoes you're wearing? You're fine. Hold on. Do you want me to do it? That's a static germ. Static, he static Mia. He doesn't like being in the videos. Here we go. Scary. Static Mia. If you want a white boy with an LS to be in the videos. Hey boy. All right. I'm gonna start you right now. Show, show some good. Ready? Boom. Up to like two. <laughs> nine, bro, nine. Yeah. It's a matter of. He's a Lexus Loop Tech, and I'm a I'm a Toyota Loop Tech. Hey, 
Hey, I want to ask a question. Sorry. So who won between you and um, Eden? I didn't watch the video. That's funny, dude. I beat him and he goes, haha, yeah, see ya, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one? That's that was really a Raven card right there. That was already breaking it. She goes, yeah, see ya, buddy. <laughs> so we're trying so to run short. it as clean as we can. It's not going to reach. Even if we were to try to... Even if we were to do all ghetto and shit, it's still I not going to go I think there. they should have made it a little bit longer. Well, like, I mean, days. assuming that most yeah. oil pressure sensors are like below, close to the oil pan. What are you gonna say? What do you have to say, Jeremiah? I don't know what else is. Deride in the back of the block. Okay. See, if you had an LS, yeah. you wouldn't have that issue. So, this is the perfect time to put an LS in it. He's taping a wire to his finger because he could find the hole with his finger because he has small hand, girly hands and I don't. So, he is gonna push it through where the old uh, amp wire used to go through or Fuck. where it goes through, which is that red wire right there. So, yeah. we're trying to figure that out. And Jeremiah is pretty much uh, taking one for the team. He's hiding under here. You can't see him. Pretty much what Jeremiah did was run a thicker wire that doesn't flex as much through under the dash. Ooh, fucking, I can see your tummy, bro. I know. <laughs> and pretty much what that's allowing us to do is run this one because I'm gonna tape it through and I'll start pulling it. So that one's gonna go in there. Hopefully pretty clean. This is the dilemma right here. He pulled it from where the blue wire is right there. He ran this wire up to here. So that's gonna make it easier. It's gonna tuck a lot of things. And then now it's gonna allow it to just go through here up to the actual gauge pod cluster. Yeah, first time talking to the camera. Quality. He's nervous, huh? It's fine. Hey, it's uh, the first video. Where's... So this is enough, but we need another wire with the same gauge. So you. He should have taken this one. He did. He took the blue one. He took the blue one? He took the blue one for a reference, but if it's the same or even a little bit thicker, it should be fine. You're good, Marin. You're good to go. Oh, it's up steady, Gideon. We're hiding the wiring behind the fiberglass. Go anymore. <laughs> so you're not going to be able to see it, which is really nice because it gives it a little, a little cleaner look. And then we have a hole right there that we're wiring it to and then that's just gonna go down to where we showed you inside so now we're just gonna show you when it's done what's up Stephanie I'm supervising yes you, guys are doing good you job. like the chair I bought it from work you did yeah I was like where's the chair the, come they're from? thrown away and I said fuck it the difference between me and Chavez my glasses don't fog up what's your brand what's your brand 399 yeah you know what my brand is snap on okay. all right so I did buy this fuse tap and a couple extra fuses. Um, pretty much what this lets me do is I'm able to run power from inside the car from the fuse box. And this is like pretty much the main wire. That pretty much sums it up. So pretty much what he's gonna be doing is getting power from this, the, from the fuse. Are from ignition or what fuse? We can do ignition. Pretty much we can do ignition so the moment he starts, it's gonna turn on and then he has a separate fuse in line that's gonna help protect it just in case anything so, happens so it doesn't affect the ignition as well. So I mean, it's just a double safety. It's like a double condom. Yeah, no, hey, that's actually bad. I know, it's your ribs. <laughs> but first, this fuse tab says I can only use two 10, two 10 amps. So like 20 total, I guess you could say. Finally, the fucking gauge is installed after how long? How long, Jeremiah? Let's see. Too long. Four hours. Jesus. But well, let's see, let's see. Ignition on. You wired it to the ignition? Yeah. So okay. every time your ignition comes on, it comes on. So that's you perfect. So right now you're no, showing you're showing power. three top PSI bro. We're gonna jack it down because it's really fucking loud. I fucking hate you, Jeremiah. We're gonna pull it out. Um and then we're gonna push it as much as we can before it turns on because it's super fucking loud. Um and then we'll see how much PSI is pushing. And we'll give you a little drive real quick before the camera dies, but we're gonna do that right now We've been driving for about a couple minutes and as you can see it is idling at around 30 psi, which is good And that's what we wanted to see we've been running into a lot of issues with um, a connection and it was honestly we checked continuity um, Through the whole system and we found it to just be the connector on the actual pod so that that really blew But we finally got it figured out everything's running good and we obviously definitely recommend it just to be able to check 
your oil pressure on your car just because obviously it's a common failure and on top of that this car doesn't have it but the Z's do so that's something that I definitely recommend. Ooh, someone's coming, someone's coming. Hold it, hold it. Yeah, it's jumping all the way up to to like 70, so that's really good. But I mean yeah, everything's fucking came out of success. It's a little late. But at least we fucking got it through and it's one step closer to finishing his fucking build So shout out to Jeremiah for helping us out a lot If you guys don't know him and I are both a6 ASC electrical certified So we both know a thing or two about electrical and how to wire things up So that went smoothly for us. It was just about running through Running through everything and just all the issues we were experiencing, but what do you think? It's working like normal uh can't wait for the next gauges. So, <laughs> hey, hold it like space so it doesn't, it doesn't fucking bounce. But on that note, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys in the next one.